In this video, I'm going to show you how to create light beams completely inside Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Drewal, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output, and this is the original photo, and this is what we will create. I'm also going to show you how to create this dust particles as you can see here. Uh, let's turn it down. This dust particles, and also I'm going to show you how to create this light rays and also the beam itself. Now let's go to the original photo here. So if you want to use this picture, the download link is in description. So feel free to use it. Uh, now, first of all, let's double click on this background and unlock it. Now we have to make a copy of it. So press Ctrl J and rename it to multiply. And just like the name, go and change its blending mode to multiply. So the entire image is dark, but we only want it dark on the outside. So let's make a selection. Uh, it's super easy right click here go and select a polygon lasso tool now you have to make a rough shape of your beam so here's one advice start a little bit outside of your document so i'm gonna start from here uh, then let's go and make a something like this uh, then i'm gonna go and make a, okay that's way too far you can use backspace to delete it so i'm gonna go and do a click here then a little bit click here uh, then let's go and end it up somewhere around here perfect uh, now we have to apply a layer mask so go and apply it from here now it's inverted we want darkness on the outside so select a layer mask and press ctrl i so easy now let's make it a little bit softer so for that just double click on your layer mask here double click uh, and then increase the feather until the edge is exactly as you want so don't worry if it goes way too crazy go 100 150 it's completely fine uh, so I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around like 148 that looks good go and close it now we have to make a copy of it but as you can see it is way too dark in this area so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select my brush uh, and let's change it to something normal round brush uh, and it's really soft 0% uh, and the opacity make it somewhere around like 20 30 percent 25 is good now I'm gonna go and paint with black color so the effect will be little less here as you can see uh, that's way too much. Let's go and try the opacity somewhere around like 10% 15. Okay, perfect uh, That's nice. Now. I'm gonna go and make a copy of this layer So go and press ctrl J so another copy, but as you can see it is way too strong So I'm gonna go and change the opacity to somewhere around like 60% and then I'm gonna do the same here I'm gonna go and change the opacity somewhere around like 60 70% uh, 75 looks pretty good now go and activate your top layer again then go and press ctrl J but this time I'm going to go and change the blend mode to normal and activate my layer mask and then I'm going to press ctrl I. So as you can see the effect is uh, if I turn it on and off as you can see only this middle part is visible. Uh, so that's looking pretty good and I'm going to go and increase the opacity somewhere like 80% or something like that. So on solo layer it looks something like this. Okay we good. Now go and create new adjustment layer. Then go and select color balance. Here, before you apply any kind of adjustment, go and turn on the clipping mask. So if you do any changes, it will only stay in the middle. You see the layer below it. So go and add a little bit of yellow. Uh, oops, zero. Uh, we need to change highlights actually. So go and add a little bit of yellow in the highlights, a little bit of red here. Uh, don't overdo with the red. Be very careful. So that's pretty good. Now go to shadows and add a little bit of yellow looking really nice now go and add a little bit of red too is good so now if i turn it on and off it gives it that really nice feeling of sun now let's go and create some rim lighting uh, so let's go and create new blank layer and name it rim light now rim lighting is a really sharp light that will appear here on the edge because sun is hitting directly her so let me explain you how you go and right click here select a quick selection tool and activate your layer zero here for the selection so now i'm gonna go and make a rough selection of model it doesn't have to be best in the world so as you can see i made the selection now i'm gonna modify it a little bit so i'm gonna go to select modify here and then i will apply a little bit of feather not too much uh, i think two pixels should be more than enough so go and add two hit okay now you have to do a little bit of painting so how are you going to do that make sure you activate your rim light layer again here then select a brush tool 
and in the color right now keep it completely white we will change it later so with a white color go and paint somewhere around here now as you can see the opacity is low so go and make it 100% all the way then go and paint here something like this nice now go and change its blending mode to screen then make sure this layer is still active go to image adjustment and then you have to go to hue saturation here before you see anything go and decrease the lightness a little bit then increase the saturation uh, and also turn on the colorize option uh, so let's go and turn down this and increase the saturation so now you will start seeing some sort of color c make sure colorize is on you decrease the lightness and then you increase the saturation uh, and then you can get the exact color you want so i want a little bit yellowish uh, because the sun is gonna be slightly yellow uh, so that's looking actually really nice uh, then go and hit ok now we're gonna remove the selection so for that go to select uh, and then go to deselect so as you can see we have this really nice rim lighting but it's a little bit strong so go and change the opacity somewhere around like 50 percent uh 50 60 is good oh perfect now we have to create a little bit of shadows so now we have to create a little bit of shadows so for that go and create another blank layer and this time rename it now before we start to paint we need selection back so instead of selecting it again you can do this trick you go to select and here you have this option of reselect so it will load up your last selection and you don't have to do the hard work so just like the rim light uh, in the shadows we will paint with black color to make it darker but here before you paint you go and make the opacity somewhere around like 30 40 percent so 25 is good uh, now i'm gonna go and make my brush a little bit bigger and then you go and start painting just like this it's not that difficult you can do it it's easy nice now go to select and deselect and the selection is gone so now if i turn it on and off really beautiful shadows but just like the last time let's decrease the opacity so they blend in real nice so keep it somewhere like 60 percent uh, let's turn it on and off amazing so now if we turn this both on and off see the depth and the lighting looks amazing now we have to create a little bit of sparkling glow in the water and on the lady it's real easy go and create new blank layer and let's name it glow then go and change your color to white and make sure opacity somewhere around like 100% uh, then go and paint where you will paint so do you see this bright portions here you will go and paint there uh, I think 100 is way too much let's try 50 uh, okay uh, nice uh, now go and paint a little bit here a little bit on the dress here now let's go and paint on the water here you see this stuff here nice then go and change its blending mode to where is it soft light so as you can see there's a little bit of glow but it's way too strong so first of all just go and directly make it zero so there is no effect now start adding in a little bit until it uh, looks really nice and blends better uh, so i think somewhere around like 30 percent should be good so if we turn it on and off see that that sparkle on the water looks way better all the crazy hard work is done now let's do some fun stuff so first of all let's go to adjustment layer and select levels here I will give it a little bit of contrast so go and make um, it a little bit brighter from here and touch darker from here looking pretty good go and close it after that go and create another adjustment layer and get a selective colors here first of all uh, we're gonna go to reds because there's a lot of red and add a touch of it uh, so the dress has a little bit of punch uh, and then add a little bit of blacks to it so we have this really nice contrast looks beautiful uh, then we're gonna go to greens uh, and uh, in greens so how are you gonna go add greens so this is red this is green and this is blue so we're gonna go and add a little bit of green by sliding it this way so as you can see it gives it really nice um, saturation in that green nice now let's go and go to neutrals here you will add a little bit of blacks to give it some real nice contrast looks amazing uh, and then go to blacks and remove a little bit of uh, power from the shadows so it uh, makes a uh, little bit washed out shadows you know what i mean uh, but don't do it too much minus one or two is the limit uh, so minus two looks good now if i turn it on and off see the colors look much better let's go and close this little thing here 
Now let's go and create those little tiny dust particles that we always see whenever there is ray of light or a little bit of beam coming. So to do that, it's super easy. Go and create a new blank layer from here uh, and make sure you right click and select your paint bucket tool and the color here should be absolute black, then fill it. After that, go to your filter, go to noise uh, and add a little bit of noise. Uh, so let's go and make it somewhere around like 80% or something little bit Okay, so 70 80 looks good and in here it should be Gaussian and monochromatic So you don't have any color here. So it should be monochromatic hit. Okay So after that go to filter go to filter gallery uh, And here go and let me find it uh, Crayon filter. Yes, do you see this con crayon? I don't know how to pronounce that So this crayon filter click on that and let's zoom out so you can see what the heck is going on Okay, so it is something like this. Uh, it's way too much. So let's go and adjust the numbers Okay, so 13 is too much and 14 is too little life of a graphic designer So we're gonna keep it 13 background level is at 4 the texture is canvas. It's 50. It's 0 You can see the numbers go and hit okay now I'm gonna go and change its blending mode to screen So there is no black part only a little bit of particles, but we only need it in the ray So how do we do that go and apply a layer mask from here? Grab a brush tool and make sure color is absolute black and opacity. It should be hundred percent. It's important uh, then make sure hardness is zero uh, and let's make the brush a little bit bigger and remove it from the parts where we don't need so something like this It's looking good, but we need to remove some opacity. So let's go and keep it somewhere around like 69 <laughs> uh, Turn it on and off looking amazing Now let's make it a little bit bright so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select curves and then I'm gonna go and make it tiny bit brighter uh, from here uh, from the yeah almost perfect go and close it uh, now let's go and create those light rays it's simple go and create new blank layer uh, then you don't have to do anything only your only job is make sure the color here are black and white no other else uh, then right click here and select our marquee tool the round one and make a circle something like this it doesn't have to be exact now we need to add a little bit of feather so for that go to select modify and where is it the feather but this time i'm gonna add a lot of it so keep it somewhere around like 20 hit ok now go to filter render and this time go and select clouds so you will have this really nice clouds uh, then go to select and where is it deselect so we don't have selection after that go and select your move tool uh, here uh, and move it on this angle here somewhere on Then go to filter blur and here we have to find radial blur this one and Here go and make zoom option and this point should be all the way here Increase the amount a little bit uh, somewhere around here. The quality should be best Then go and hit ok Now we have to adjust it a little bit. So for that go and press ctrl T uh, and rotate it a little bit uh, Then confirm it. So the rays are straight then again go and press ctrl T uh, and stretch it somewhere around like this Pretty good. Uh, then go and make it smaller something like this then rotate it somewhere around here put it here uh, pretty good uh, then go and confirm it now I'm gonna go and change its blending mode to screen so we get rid of all the black parts now as you can see it's ridiculously strong so what we can do right click and select blending options and here this first one do you see here uh, blend of gray hold your alt key and then go and drag it here on this side all the way here so that's really nice then go and hit ok now reduce its op opacity so it blends in real nice and if you want to adjust it just like every time uh, you can go and adjust it press ctrl T uh, and manage it however you want After that I selected my eraser and then I can go and erase it a little bit from here and a little bit from here So it's only in the middle and doesn't look hideous. So that's it And this is the final output now. Let's look at the after before uh, so 
This is the image that we started with and this is the final effect and everything is non-destructive. So if you don't like anything, you can change it anytime. So let's go and make it a little bit less bright. So I'm going to go and reduce the opacity of curves so it's less bright and you can go and reduce the rim light if it's way too strong. Uh, so I think 45% looks better. You can do anything. So this is it for this video and I really hope that you learned something. If you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more tutorials by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update plus it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.